Hello friends. So, so far we have learned about the isometrics of the laminas, which means uh, we have constructed pentagonal lamina, isometric projection and isometric view of a pentagonal lamina, circular lamina and the square lamina. Right. So now we are going to study about the isometrics of the prisms. In this problem, we are going to construct the isometric view of a hexagonal prism having a base 25 mm and a height 50 mm when it is resting on one of its base with the axis is perpendicular to the ground, it is one condition and the second condition is axis is parallel to its So, we know that when the axis is perpendicular to the ground, in the top view you can see the hexagon and in the front view you can see it is a lateral face. So, this is the orthography projection where in the top view you can see the hexagon and in the front view you can see the lateral face. So, for constructing the isometrics of anything, first we have to construct the orthographic projection of the corresponding object. So, in this uh, condition, the top view you can see the hexagon and in the front view you can see the lateral traces. So, the first step is, we have to enclose this in a rectangle and that rectangle is to be transferred in the isometric axis and from that you have to construct the isometrics of the prisms. So, first we can enclose this in a rectangle. Now it is placed on the ground with the axis is perpendicular. So in the top view you can see the base. So this is in HP. We know that for HP the corresponding isometric axis should be 30 degree inclined towards right and 30 degree inclined towards left. So first we have to construct the isometric axis. On that isometric axis we have to mark this rectangle. So take this value mark here, take this value mark here, so that we have constructed the isometric of that rectangle. On that rectangle, we can mark C, B, you know how to mark all this, so A, this is F, this is E and this is B. Similarly, you can mark the center over now. Now, connect this. We have connected. Now, we know that eh, in the front view, you can see the height, right? Front view means it is in VP. So, when an object is parallel to VP, this will be isometric uh, x axis and this will be z axis. So, this x is converted into isometric x axis at a degree line towards uh, right, and this z is converted into isometrics as such. Because isometric z axis is isometric z axis is same as that of normal z axis. So the isometric z axis will be perpendicular on your normal. So how can we transfer this height? We know that from this point there is a height of 50. So that height should be marked along the isometric z axis. Now how can we convert uh, create an isometric z axis? Actually, if you draw a line here, that is the corresponding isometric axis, right? So with to that isometric, to parallel to that isometric axis, we can mark the 50 height to all the points. Okay, so the easier thing is a draw perpendicular through all the points having a height of 50. Actually, for constructing the isometric uh, isometric view of prisms, uh, prisms and pyramids, and two methods are available. One method is known as box method, and the second one is method. Second method is known as offset method or coordinate method. Box method is we have created a box here. And at a height of 50, we can create another box which will be parallel to this box. On that box also, we can mark this uh, hexagon and connect this. That is box method. But the easier method is offset method or coordinate method. In our offset method or coordinate method, we know that from every point, the next corresponding point on the top will be at a height of 50. So the easier thing is a uh, through the draw a perpendicular and on that perpendicular, mark a height of 50. That will be the easy method. So this will be the top point corresponding to me. Through a draw a perpendicular, mark 50 there. Through F, mark 50 there. Through E, mark 50 there. Through a draw a vertical, perpendicular. This is the easy method then, box method. Through axis center own also, we can mark it. So, now we can connect all this.
by connection. Remember that. Eh? This will be invisible. This also will be visible. This will be invisible. This will be invisible. This is axis of power. This edge, this edge, this edge will be invisible. So in actual uh, practice, these invisible edges are not marking isometric process. You can mark with a dotted line, but in usual practice, uh, these invisible edges are not marked in isometric projection or isometric view. So that marking is unnecessary. Okay, so this is enough. So I hope you understood this. This is all. So this is the isometric view of the hexagonal prism when it is placed there. Perpendicular to the axis is perpendicular to the gravitation. Or axis is perpendicular to the sorry, axis is perpendicular to the Now we are going to construct the isometric projection or isometric view when the axis is parallel to H. When the axis is parallel to HP, in the front view, you can see the Face or the hexagon, and in the top view, you can see the lateral faces, right? So, in orthographic projection, this will be on the top and this will be on the bottom. Okay, actually, the purpose of this orthographic projection, purpose of drawing this orthographic projection is without this orthographic projection, this cannot be constructed. Without the front view, we can construct this uh, isometry because we know that from every point that the height is. But without this one, we cannot construct this isometric view or isometric portion. So that is the purpose of drawing this orthographic projection. Now in this case, uh, in the front view, this will be similar to this one, right? This will become front view and this will become top view. So, a new orthographic projection, drawing of a new orthographic projection is not necessary. This will be enough, but keep in mind that this should be our top view, front view in this new condition. So, when it is in front view, we know that the front view is x z prime, right? So this should be transferred to the isometric x z prime. That is the first condition. So first of all, the isometric x axis, that will be right? Isometric z axis. On that isometric z axis and x axis mark. So transfer this lamina. H and draw the isometric of the hexagon in H. So it is complete. Now, what about this axis? What about the plane axis? In the Actually, we have drawn the front view here, right? In the front view, we are uh, seeing the base, so the front view is drawn first. In the top view, you can see the 50. Okay, in the top view, you can see this base and this 50. This 50 means it is lying in the y axis. We know that y axis is marked in the isometric view as a line in the 30 degree towards left. That means uh, that y axis should be marked, you know, parallel to. This line. The uh, distances along the y axis should be marked in this line parallel to this 30 degree line. Right? So, where should be the point corresponding to this? If this is C, where should be this point at a height of 50? How we can mark that height in the isometric y axis? From C, draw a line parallel to this 30 degree line at a distance of 50 so that we can obtain the topmost point of similarly how can we obtain the other points the second base points corresponding to this a b c d f through your very points draw a line parallel to this 30 degree line having a length of 50 so this point is obtained through e draw a line parallel to this one so this should be that point there.
Hello? Six points has been obtained. No. I don't need to go. Oh, you can see that, yeah? This will be visible. This will be visible. This will be. These edges are visible. This will be border. And these and these are visible edges. So this is three. And these two edges will be invisible. Usually invisible edges are not marked in isometric projection. So now we have obtained it. The isometric of the external prism and the axis is perpendicular to BP or parallel to. So, this is the method of constructing the isometric view of a prism when it is placed parallel to the gap and perpendicular to the gap. So first we have to construct the orthographic projection and we have to check where the ball, where the base is resting. The base should be marked first in the isometric view. The base means it should be hexagon, pentagon or like that. So there should be marked in the isometric view first. So since it is placed on the ground, this will be x y plane. So this hexagon should be marked in the x y plane in this first condition and the corresponding height from the every point the height should be 50. Mark the long z isometric z axis. Isometric z means a vertical line. So draw vertical line through all the points and you mark the corresponding height of the point. When it is placed parallel to VP, when it is placed, when the axis is perpendicular to VP, in the front view you can see the base. So the front view means it, it is in the x z plane. So in the x z plane, you have to mark the base. And from that, the uh, lateral edge should be lying on the y axis. Y axis means it is 30 degree line towards the left. So, through every point, draw a line with an inclination of 30 degree towards the left. Or draw the 30 degree line y axis first and a parallel to this line, draw distance uh, mark distance of 50 through every point. And so, this is the method of constructing the isometric view of a person. I hope all of you have So, now you are going to Construct the isometric projection of this question. So, for we know that for isometric scale, for isometric projection, first we have to draw the isometric scale. How can we draw isometric scale? With the help of that isometric scale, we can transfer that particular distance into isometric value. So, how can we construct isometric scale? For this particular question, the maximum distance should be 50. Okay, that should be the maximum distance in which we come in this question. So, our isometric scale should measure or should convert. Uh, that 50 to corresponding isometric scale. So for that, if you have to draw isometric scale, it is maximum value of 50 or more than that. So this should be 15 degree, it should be 45 degree, this is our plane, this is our isometric plane, and if this is our distance, through this one, draw your line parallel to this one, so that this will be our isometric plane. This should be marked yellow with the question, but the measurement you can take. Now converting that measurements is the easy method is take a particular value, multiply it with the point e to six and then draw. That means for drawing this, first you have to take a this distance, right? Take this distance, multiply that value in the point e to six and then draw this distance. Take this distance, multiply that value in the point e to six and mark here. Similarly, complete that direction. Now complete that rectangle. Now, take this distance, multiply it to point A to 6, mark it here. Take this distance, multiply it to the point A to 6, mark it here. Similarly, for getting the 50, 50 into point A to 6 will be this distance. So, every dimension you are going to mark in the isometry should be multiplied with the point A to 6, and that value is marked, that value is used for drawing this dimension. This is how. We are constructing the isometric projection. This is the difference between isometric view and the isometric projection. So, in isometric projection, the every object should be diminished to the value of 81.6%. So, the important thing is you should mark an isometric scale. The value you can use the by multiplying the value you can use the by taking this value and multiply it with the 
point eight two six and that value can be marked. But this is important. The isometric scale should be marked the error with the test. Okay. So I hope all of you have understood how to construct the isometric projection and the isometric view of a prism when it is placed with uh, axis is perpendicular to ground and axis parallel to ground the different conditions. I hope all of you have understood.